Hello, I'm Captain Teo. In this tutorial we are going to be learning how to get started with the Ferality Umbra shader in Unity and how to set up the Ferality Umbra clothing tools in Substance Painter. Everyone who registers will have access to the shader and Substance Painter materials as well as many themed assets that use them to their advantage. To begin, we recommend starting off with a fresh Unity project or at the minimum creating a backup of your current avatar project making sure to use VRChat's currently supported Unity version, which is Unity 2022.3.22f1 at the time of this recording. You can install Unity and create your project easily using the VRChat Creator Companion, or VCC, which can be downloaded at vrchat.com home slash download. Remember, you must have a trust rank of new user or higher in VRChat to be able to upload custom avatars. Once your project is created and an avatar of your choice set up, it's time to download the Ferality Umbra shader. The shader can be downloaded in two ways. The recommended way is through Ferality Asset Manager, which will automatically download and set up your assets from within Unity. As well as the shader itself, the Ferality Asset Manager will also give you easy access to all of your available avatar assets and convention badges. For information on how to install and set up Ferality Asset Manager, check out the Avatar Assets tutorial. When you have Ferality Asset Manager installed, it's time to download the Ferality Umbra shader through the Asset Manager. To do this, choose any available Ferality Umbra asset to download and click on the download button. The Ferality Umbra shader will also be automatically downloaded and imported with your chosen asset. The other way to download the Ferality Umbra shader is by adding it to the VRChat Creator Companion through the Ferality website. Log in to ferality.online. On your profile page, you'll find links to go to the assets download page. From here, scroll down to the shader section, click on the button labeled Ferality Shader Repository, and then the button labeled Add to VCC next to Ferality Umbra Shader. Now you can add the shader into your project through the VRChat Creator Companion by clicking on Manage Project, then the plus symbol next to Ferality Umbra Shader. Now you can add the Ferality Umbra Shader to your custom VRChat avatar. To change your avatar's shader, double click on the avatar in Unity's scene view. In the inspector here, you'll see all of the shaders on your avatar. Click on the drop down menu on any of these shaders, click on Ferality, and then Umbra Shader. Here, select Umbra Shader Opaque, or any of the other options here depending on your needs. Feel free to do this to as many of your shaders as you would like. You can open the shader options by clicking on the arrow to the left of the drop down menu. Here you can find many settings to customize the shader to your liking. In particular, check out the Luma Glow settings found in the Emissions drop down, which allow your avatar's emissions to react uniquely to events happening in the Ferality Umbra worlds, such as lighting up to the music in Club Finn. For more information on how to use and customize the Ferality Umbra shader, you can find an in depth guide on how to use it in the Assets page. On the Assets page, scroll down to the Shader section and click on the button labelled Documentation to be brought to the Shader Guide. If you need any further help, you can also check out our other tutorials on YouTube and ask any questions in the Shader Help channel in the Ferality Discord server. Now I'm going to move on into Substance Painter to show you how to add our new Ferality Umbra materials. Make sure that you have the latest version of Substance Painter, which is currently version 10.0. You will be unable to import the Ferality Umbra materials into versions of Substance Painter older than 9.12 due to changes in how new versions of Substance Painter use materials. First, you want to download the Ferality Umbra Substance Painter materials from the Ferality website. Scroll down to Clothing Tools and click on the button labeled Ferality Umbra Clothing Tools to download the material files. Save the zip file and extract the files inside it wherever is convenient to you. From here, you can now import the customization tools. First, if you are starting a new Substance Painter project, find the folder called Startup Template. Inside this is an SPT file which is used to automatically set up the Ferality Umbra Substance Painter materials in a new project. Simply drag the Startup Template folder to your Substance Painter Templates folder found in the Documents slash Adobe slash Adobe Substance 3D Painter slash Assets slash Templates. If this folder doesn't exist here, just create a new folder at this location and call it Templates, then move the Startup Template folder into it. Now, to create a new project using this template, select File, New, then click on the Template drop-down and select Ferality Umbra Coat Shader. 
Now click on select to add to the model file that you want to work with and click on OK. Now your new project will be created and everything that you need will be set up for you. If instead your avatar came with an SPP file and you'd like to work with that, all that you need to do is open the SPP file as normal, but we will need to manually set up some settings after importing the materials. For now however, we can import the Ferality Umbra Substance Painter files including the materials and export template. To import the files to our project, click on File, Import Resources. In the window that opens, click on Add Resources. Navigate to the main folder that you extracted the zip file to, select all of the materials in this folder with names starting with Ferality and ending with .spsm if you have file extensions visible, then click on Open. Now click on Add Resources again, navigate to the Export Templates folder in the main folder and select the file in here, Ferality Coat Shader .spexp. Now click on Open, click on the Import Your Resources dropdown and select Library to ensure that you have access to all of them through all of your projects in case you have multiple avatars that need to be retextured. At this point, if you are working from a pre-made SPP file, we have a couple more steps to finish getting your project ready. Click here to go to your shader settings, click on this bar, and select PBR Coated to select this shader. Scroll down to the Coat Layer section and make sure that Override with Roughness Coat is checked and Multiply with Mask Coat is also checked. Then click on the Surface Behavior dropdown and select Smooth Surface. Close this settings panel, then click on the Texture Set Settings tab. Under Channels, click on the plus symbol next to Channels and then User 0 then do the same with user 1. Now click on the plus symbol again and click on user channels then user 2. Double click on user 0 to rename it. This will be our coat roughness channel so call it coat roughness. User 1 will be our coat mask channel so rename it to coat. Finally user 2 will be our glint mask so rename it to glint. Now click on the cogwheels next to these three channels and select L8. Now if you look at your Layers tab, you can see these material channels here, which will confirm that they are set up correctly. From this point, the materials are set up and you are ready to texture your avatar. Once you are finished texturing the avatar and wish to export the textures, click on File, Export Textures. Click on the Output Template dropdown and scroll down until you find Ferality Coat Shader, which is the export template that we imported earlier, and select that. Select your image file type, usually this will be PNG, and set the size and padding to suit your needs. Finally, click on Export to export your textures, which can then be imported into Unity and used with the Ferality Umbra Shader on your avatar. This is everything that you need to get started with using the Ferality Umbra Substance Painter materials to accessorize your avatar for Ferality Umbra. If you need any more information or help with Substance Painter, YouTube is always a great resource for tutorials. You can also ask the Ferality community and team for help in the Avatar Help channel in the Ferality Discord server. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see all of your amazing avatars at Ferality Umbra.